Um, hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On my trip to Bangladesh in 2017, what I noticed that there are roadside tea stalls everywhere. These tea stalls are a place to hang out and to socialize for the locals. Foreigners are treated with warm and welcoming hospitality and even a stranger could offer you a cup of tea in one of these tea stalls. Tea is served in small glass cups or mugs. The secret is in the thick cow milk that has been boiled to concentrate, a strong black tea and lots of sugar. After coming back to Canada, what I missed about Bangladesh is a cup of tea from the roadside tea stall. Since then, I have been trying to replicate this cup of tea in Canada and I believe uh, I have come very close, although this is not going to be perfect, but you know what I'm going to show you today, how to make this cup of tea anywhere in the world you don't have to go to Bangladesh or you don't have to go to a roadside tea stall and the process I'm going to show you will give you a very a close taste uh, although it's not going to be 100% like you know one of those uh, cup of teas uh, in Bangladesh roadside tea stall but uh, you'll get very close and that is what I'm going to show you today in this video the ingredients you need the first thing tea and milk or creamer and then sugar so you're not going to get uh, boiled thick milk in uh, you know other country so what you can do you can replace it with a condensed milk and any kind of con condensed milk should do the job and if you don't have condensed milk or if you don't want to use that then you can also use you know coffee creamer but condensed milk would bring more color and uh, or more flavor uh, out of the tea and it would taste better too so you're going to take water uh, it has to be a uh, cold water so we'll take a cold water so try to get uh, very cold water that will bring you more flavor and taste so we're going to you know fill this up a little bit more than one cup if you're making one cup of tea so here we have uh, more than a one cup uh, water and then in order to get the tea if you're using a regular tea bag, for example, this is just a regular, you know, uh, strength, then you need actually two tea bags. One tea bag is not going to do the job, so you need two tea bags. But you're going to see some teas are like, you know, they're uh, bold or extra strong. So if you have that type of tea, then you can uh, use one and a half tea bag. So what I'm going to do, I'll just show you how much, uh, you know, one and a half tea bag. In uh, the tablespoon uh, just to you know give you an idea so I'll just you know open this up okay so looks like uh, two tea bags is very close to one tablespoon so if you don't have you know tea bag you can use also uh, loose tea but it should be like you know just very close to one tablespoon uh, but if you're using like in a strong tea or bold tea then make it uh, about 75 percent full of one tablespoon so this is what it is going to be your tea and then i'm going to just hold on to it and then i'm going to start uh, boiling the water so here's the water and then we'll start uh, boiling it and while the water is boiling we're going to take uh, if you're using a uh, condensed milk then we'll just you know start with uh, let's say one teaspoon of condensed milk first and then if we need we can add more sugar so these cubes are actually uh, one spoon or one teaspoon or four gram so we're going to just you know start with one teaspoon of condensed milk and then look at the color of the tea uh, which will tell us like you know how is it uh, whether this is uh, good or bad I'm just boiling the tea here you can actually cover the water to make it faster so let's uh, you know wait for a few seconds and then once you know the water is boiling we'll just put our uh, tea in the pot you can see that water is boiling now uh, we're just going to wait a few more seconds. Uh, we can see that you know it's almost uh, very close to a full boil. So just wait a couple or five, ten seconds. Then we'll put the tea in the water. This should be good enough. So right now I'm going to put the uh, tea in the water. Here you go. 
we're going to let it boil for about three to five minutes so I'm going to just shake it a little bit and then I'm just going to cover it and then wait about three minutes or a little bit more than uh, three minutes we are close to three minutes I'm going to just uh, remove the lid and you can see that you know it's boiling in full strength so what I can do I can just you know turn off the stove and let it sit there for about a minute or so so I'm going to power the tea in the cup uh, you can use a filter if you're using a loose tea but if you're using you know tea bag then you don't actually need to filter I'm just you know using a filter because I took off the, the tea from the uh, tea bag so I'm going to just you know power the tea here and you can see that the tea has evaporated so we have lesser tea than what the amount of water we put in so it looks like I can put in the whole thing and I'm going to just put it aside Okay, so now in order to uh, put milk, we're going to start with the uh, one teaspoon and see how it looks. So we're going to just, you know, take one teaspoon of condensed milk from here. Uh, so this is kind of, uh, you know, very close to one teaspoon. And let's see how the color comes, comes out. So let me just push this over. I can see the it's bringing you know the color, and let's just wait a little bit. We might need a little bit more milk because this kind of looks like a little bit dark. So I'm going to just you know take slightly more condensed milk, uh, which is about half teaspoon or lesser than half teaspoon. Let me just taste it a little bit. So in terms of you know the color and the milk combination uh, this just looks fine so I'm going to just you know leave this here and if you wish then you can add more sugar if you don't want uh, you don't have to so I'm going to just you know get one uh, cube of sugar So this is a very basic tea. Uh, I have seen in Bangladesh that you know some of the places or some of the roadside uh, tea stalls uh, they add you know uh, some spices uh, which could be uh, uh, ginger or other spices to you know make it unique or to make uh, different types of tea. But this is a basic uh, simple tea, and let me just taste it right now. I'm very pleased with what I made uh, you can see that you know it has a golden crispy color and this is the kind of color you're going to get you know if you buy tea from a roadside Bangladeshi uh, a tea stall and uh, it's a very you know it's a bold cup of tea so it's not like you know light tea so this has lots of you know flavor and taste uh, because of the amount of tea we put in and that's what they do in Bangladesh. They put in like, you know, lots of uh, strong black tea with, uh, you know, thick uh, milk or condensed milk. So this process I just showed you, uh, the process I just showed you, this is like, you know, very close uh, to the tea you're going to taste uh, or experience in a roadside uh, tea stall in Bangladesh. So just to wrap up everything, uh, you need uh, two bags of tea if you're using like you know regular tea but if you're using uh, a tea bag which has bold or you know uh, strong tea then you can use one and a half and then in terms of uh, condensed milk you can try close to one teaspoon or 75 percent of one teaspoon or if you don't have condensed milk or if you don't want condensed milk then you can even use uh, 
coffee creamer, but uh, condensed milk definitely is going to bring up more uh, better color and flavor. And then uh, you can add more sugar. Uh, but you know, this has a very aromatic smell, which I can smell, and it has a very like you know bold, strong uh, taste. But you know, it doesn't make your tongue bitter, or it doesn't uh, feel anything that you know you don't want to drink. Because uh, if you drink these once, you just want to drink more and more. And that's what happens to uh, Bangladesh because you know people uh, once people go to the roadside tea stall actually they go to several times a day uh, because that's where you know people gather and socialize and you know have a chit chat and everything so if you go to Bangladesh definitely don't forget to visit a roadside tea stall and you can try like you know several because uh, most likely your uh, taste is going to you know differ slightly from uh, depending on where you go and uh, that's one of the unique things about Bangladesh, the roadside tea stall and uh, the hospitality of the people. Thank you for watching this video. Forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. There will be more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you.